everyone, I am Amelia Limayen and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this amazing clock. It's of course inspired by Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I know a lot of you already recognize this object. It looks like a station clock but actually this device measures the magical exposure thread level and we can find it at Makusa but now you can have one at home. I hope you really like this idea and let's get on the video. You are gonna need a muggle clock to transform it thin cardboard, you can recycle an empty cereal box, a brush, a pencil, and a sector knife, a protractor, a compass, ruler, glue, and acrylic paint. Start by drawing a circle of same size as your clock. Then using the same center point, draw three smaller circles inside. Here you can see the measures of each one. You will have four circles like this. Trace the diameter and place your protractor on the center point. Make two marks, one at 120 degrees and the second one at 55 degrees. Connect this mark to the center point. It will look like three cake slices. Place the protractor on the left line that you just draw and mark 65 degrees. Connect that mark to the center too. Now erase the diameter and place the protractor on the right line and mark 20 degrees. And obviously trace another line to connect the mark and the center point. Place the protractor on the line that you just draw and mark at 35 and 70 degrees. Connect those marks to the center point and finally place the protractor on the last line you draw and mark 65 and 95 degrees. Now next to the lines you already draw, mark one centimeter of distance and trace another line. Repeat all around the circle and I know this seems super complicated, but I promise it's not. You can pause the video here to see the measures of each division inside the circle. Can you see the sort of frame we made at each section? Well, we have to cut out the inner part. This one I'm coloring with my pencil. Cut slowly, you don't want to ruin your frame. Repeat the same process with all the circle and also cut out the smaller inner circle. Now you must have this piece of cardboard. Trace and cut out three more circles. Their sizes depend on the size of your clock hands. Paint the frame and the circles with golden acrylic paint. Take your clock and mark the hours on the edge like I'm doing here. Then paint the entire clock white and once that it's dry, place the golden frame on top. Do you see these two sections which measures are 65 degrees? Place one of them aligned with the mark we made at 12, I mean the center of the clock, and the other section must be at your left. Using this piece of cardboard as a stencil, trace each section and once you are done, take off the frame. Each section will be painted of a different color and this is the order. From 12, red, black, dark green, medium green and light green, blue, yellow and orange. The next step is to print the phrases for the divisions in the clock. I recommend you to print them on thick paper. Cut out each letter. That will take you a while, so be patient. The phrases are starting on red, emergency, witch hunts, exposures, obligations, zero threat, low threat, moderate threat, high alert, danger, and severe unexplained activity. Stick down the frame to the clock and then glue the phrases. We almost finished. Take your golden cardboard circles and glue them to the clock hands. This is the final result and I totally loved it. It's great to decor your room or to give us a gift and I think every Potterhead in the world must have this magical object. I won't let another one die. I refuse to bow down any longer. Time is running out. Let's just command it.